It's beer o'clock on Relo Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Batch Brewing Company in Australia and it's a can of the Dank Double IPA coming in at 9% ABV. Many thanks to my friend Mick for sending me the beer. Incredible that he's been sending us beer now for probably the last 18 months to two years on the channel. If it wasn't for Mick, we wouldn't be drinking any of these wonderful, wonderful Australian craft beers on the channel. Without further ado, let's get this can out into a glass and see what we get. Woo -hoo -hoo! Did you hear that crack? Can you see that smoke? Here we go then. I'm a bit, a bit excited because I've just read the description on the side of the can. I'll get to that in a moment. Uh, it just reminds me of the place I'm living at the moment. The local dialect, yeah. Um, it's a two to three finger white head, uh, good levels of carbonation. It's a slightly hazy amber colored ale. Let's get the aroma. Literally sticking it up my nose. It's one of those IPAs, 9% double IPA where you're thinking ah, I really want to get my nose in and really want to it's like everything's tucked away underneath that pillow of head all that flavor all that richness all of the the hoppy intensity that we're going to get uh, and I suppose that's my greatest way of describing what dank is dank is just such a strange word it means for me kind of subdued Everything's everything's a little bit dank, you know, like the weather's dank, heavy. I think you know what I'm coming from. So, although it didn't sound so great, I've had these beers before which were dank. Not really much in the aroma, if I'm honest. You may get a little tease of sweetness. A little tease of that malt, that grain. A little tease of that orange and fleshy blood orange and grapefruit. But generally, everything's tucked away in the flavour. It's all locked into that liquid. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Oh, 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 stone the crows, stone the crows, it certainly is, it's all locked in, it's all jam packed and, and, and this and this and that, and, oh. it's all concentrated, all of that flavour is concentrated into the taste, and what a taste it is, the bitterness just wants to, it wants to smack you on the jaw, knock your head off. And if you're not looking, if you don't understand, I mean, I mean, can you imagine? Let's let's stop for a minute because I will get to the flavours in a moment, which is terrific. Just said you've given this to the man in the street, yeah, the, the man who's never tasted craft beer before, and he's smelling. He's going, yeah, you know, you're asking him for the his comment on the aroma. He's going, there's not really that much going on, and then all of a sudden, he has a taste. And you see, when you taste it, have a big mouthful. It's gonna go, it's gonna be like a freight train. Bang! It's gonna be, it's gonna be just knocking him off his feet. And even after reviewing eight beers, even after having these dank double IPAs, so many times previously over the last eight to nine years of reviewing beer on the channel, it never ceases to amaze me just how much flavour can be cram packed into a beer without that much aroma. Let's talk about them flavours. First of all, it's big, it's fat and bold. You get lots of biscuit malt coming through. Carbonation pushes the beer around the inside of the mouth, releases lots of that flavour. And here comes that flavour right now as I'm speaking. 
taste it with me guys if you've got a can of this beer in your fresh can in in in, in australia literally simultaneously taste it with me and then that grapefruit that bitterness that it's like slicing a grapefruit in half putting a bit of sugar on it and then smashing it into your face it's burning your eyes it's it's rampaging on your palate that sweetness that bitterness and then it's, and then combine that with biting an orange peel you're, you're chewing on your back teeth with the orange peel after smashing that grapefruit in your face like this it's just incredible absolutely incredible lots of flavor spiciness bitterness mango passion fruit blood orange oh just stunning stunning beer um mick sent me five cans of beer in this round um we, we drank some awesome awesome beer but just through and i'm not being biased to batch brewing company i really I, i'm not being biased at all but just what mick has sent in the past over the last 18 months to two years um, look at me brushing my hair. I don't have any on the side anymore. Um, just by Mick sending me beer over the last 18 months or two years. It, it, they've been great. The batch beers have been generally absolutely fantastic. And I've probably left the best to last. After the best batch that he's recently sent, this is probably the best one of the best beers I've ever had from Australia. Cheers, guys. What's cheers in, in Australia? Probably cheers, yeah? Cheers! Not Polish, like Nostravia, which is cool, I love it. Or German, Prost. Or what's what? Um, Welsh, I'm from Wales. You, do you want to hear what um, cheers is in Wales? Yaki da! But it all, whatever language you're from, uh, sorry, whatever country you're from, whatever language you speak, come on, let's get our ideas right now. Um, it all generally means the same thing. Yeah? Can you imagine five people, six people in a room doing the same thing from, from, from pras to yakida to cheers? To, it all means, it's all people in the room enjoying a beer. I'm going to rate this one. Cheers, guys. Oh, here's the description, one second. Brah, this American West Coast double IPA is just sick as, man. Uh, that hoppy, piney and resiny vibe just makes it so dank. That's what they're saying on the side of the can, yeah. Uh, we brew for you. Batch Brewing Company, that is a terrific beer at 9% ABV. My rating for this is a smashing, stonking, out of the park. If I had 11 fingers, I'd show you 11 fingers. I've only got 10. It's a 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 beer from Reload Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom and cheers.